Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has started to roll out their final and last Patch Tuesday cumulative updates for this year, 2022. And for Windows 10 this month, the update is KB5021233. Now the Patch Tuesday updates um, that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month are compulsory automatic security updates that will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device unless you decide to pause the update for a couple of days. And the update was made available on the 13th of December. Now, if you are running Windows 10 version 22H2, which is the latest stable release, the OS build will be bumped up to 19045.2364. And the update is also rolling out for Windows 10 versions 21H2, 21H1 and 20H2. Now, over and above being a compulsory mandatory automatic security update, 5021233 also addresses an issue this month that was affecting the camera app. And if you were having problems with your camera app that wasn't responding when your memory was low on Windows 10, according to Microsoft, this update will fix that issue in your camera app. Now, with that out the way, um, the update is a security update. And will fix 26 security vulnerabilities on Windows 10, three of which are critical. And a critical vulnerability is your highest ranked vulnerability. So this is a very important security update that Microsoft is rolling out this month with this latest Patch Tuesday update. Now, the three critical vulnerabilities that have been fixed are remote code execution vulnerabilities. And a remote code execution vulnerability means a hacker or an attacker can gain access to your system remotely over the internet or a network, as an example. So very important to double check that you get the update installed sooner than later, as it does fix 26 vulnerability vulnerabilities, three of which are critical. Now, if you didn't install the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out near the end of last month, November for Windows 10, which was KB5020030, then you will see a couple of new improvements and some bug fixes that have been made available this month. Now, I will leave a link to that video I did post on that update, which will give you a whole lot more information. But just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, uh, the Quick Assist app um, has now been updated. There is a new Quick Assist app, which you can download from the Microsoft Store. And the Quick Assist app um, basically just lets you help someone over the internet remotely, as an example, to solve um, computer problems remotely over the internet online. So there is a new Quick Assist app. And um, if we just head to the taskbar, um, if you um, were using your taskbar at the top of your screen, so if I just place the taskbar at the top orientation quickly, um, up until this update did roll out, um, the taskbar search box um, wasn't available in the top orientation and wasn't available by default. Now you'll notice with the taskbar at the top of your screen um, that the search box um, now appears on the taskbar um, by default when the taskbar is at the top orientation at the top of your screen. So that may be a nice handy improvement if you are using the taskbar at the top um, as opposed to the bottom of your screen, but not yet rolling out for the left and right orientation, just the bottom and the top orientation. And then over and above that, um, it also includes bug fixes for issues that were related to the Microsoft Store, which had update failures. Um, there were printer issues that were addressed, um, daylight saving time issues, and a whole lot of other bug fixes. But as mentioned, I'll leave a link in the description uh, to that video on KB5020030, as it will just give you a little bit more info. So that's it for this month. KB5021233, now available. Um, rolling out with those security fixes and then also those two new improvements for Windows 10 and a whole lot of bug fixes. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.